Lucy, a great future. It's going to be very, very bright for that young man. Folks, Violet Valentine had so many great matches, and there was every title on the line. And we're not going to be able to show you any here on the show, as I said, but here's what we are going to do. We're going to give you this little bit of a video snippet of Violet Valentine. Check it out. Love. at Violet Valentine DA. I mean, I'm stunned just looking at that, of course. Uh, so many great matches, including that triple threat tag team match where now we have our new tag team champions, Ariel Assault. Absolutely, see a great match between those three teams. Boss Crown, new IW tag team champions. Also, some great action between, of course, uh, Michael Berry and Aaron Neal. And wow, just a great show. And folks, like, like we said earlier, if you missed it, you, you missed it. A lot happened at that show, Sebo. There's going to be a lot of repercussions felt for weeks and months in IW after that show. And we have here, folks, another Impact Classic as we have the Vulture, Kenny Campbell, the Impact Division champion, coming out tonight in a great match against Jermaine Johnson. A special exhibition match for our fans here tonight. You're going to see a classic right here between these two champions. Gold against gold, and this will be a one great match. Both of these wrestlers, very, very energetic, high-powered guys. And folks, back to what we were talking about, uh, as far as Violet Valentine goes, if you missed it, you missed it, but you don't have to miss it because Violet Valentine 2011, as I said, and, and Chaotic Christmas from 2010, both of those are going to be available on DVD for you to purchase the entire show, every match. Uh, and that's going to happen on March 19th when March Mayhem rolls in. With special commentary from Steve-O and myself, Big DA. That's right. There he is, folks, the heavyweight champion, Jermaine Johnson, along with his Impact Inc. cohort. Uh, still on crutches there, Jordan Jacobs. Jordan Jacobs still with that broken hip. Not cleared by doctors to be off those crutches yet. But as we talked about earlier, we think uh, he's got to be got to be close to being ready to get back in the ring, and we could see uh, him pop up on Team Johnny Z uh, as we roll towards March 19th and March Mayhem. So that could happen. We could see Jordan Jacobs end up uh, on that team. Now we've got Team Johnny Z and Team Double D, and you got to think uh, here's another guy that's probably going to be on Team Johnny Z. The heavyweight champion. Absolutely. Why would you not want your best weapon, your best kept secret, as Johnny Z puts it, the heavyweight champion of IW, Jermaine Johnson. And Jermaine Johnson, of course, uh, in, the, in, the, in the main event at Violent Valentine against Montego Sica, and still victorious, Jermaine Johnson, still the heavyweight champion. And, you know, does that end the story of Jermaine and Montego? You know, after that great match we saw, I, for one, would like to see one more. Those two men put it all on the line. Our crowd loved that match. They were there for every pinfall. It was a great, great show. Both wrestlers gave it 150%. And in the end, uh, Jermaine Johnson maintaining that title and still carrying it. Uh, how long can he hold on to it? Can he hold on to it till March Mayhem? We'll see. Uh, speaking, of, speaking of titles, this other guy right here, Kenny Campbell, uh, with his Impact Division title on the line at Val Violet Valentine against Dustin Heritage, a, a guy who's also held it five times. Uh, 
Wow, what a controversy that turned out to be, DA. A really a great match, Devo, but saw a double pinfall at the end. Both men down, both shoulders down, both men covered. Center. Unbelievable. Co Commissioner Sam Helton really, I mean, what's he going to do? We'll How find out tomorrow night. With something like that. Yeah, a double pin. You don't see that kind of thing every day, but uh, uh, the referee called it. It was what it was. The bell was rang, and in all the confusion, Sam Helton, the co commissioner, came out and basically told us that he's going to hang on to that. Absolutely. Followed several minutes' discussion from referee Mark Wilson and co commissioner Sam Helton. Sam Helton decides he's going to hold that title up. And we're supposed to have some sort of announcement tomorrow night, fans. Tomorrow night right here at the Impact Arena, we will find out. Is it going to be Kenny Campbell maintaining his Impact Division title? Or is it going to be a new sixth time Impact Division champion, Dustin Heritage? We'll find out tomorrow night here at the Impact Arena, folks. We hope you make it out for the show every Saturday night right here at 1009 Southwest F right here in Lawton. Uh, we'd love to see you. Doors open at 6. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back as Impact Television rolls on. Your TV, your, your TV better be ready. ready. Impact Zone Wrestling presents ICW Impact Television. Every Friday night, right after Jimmy Kimmel on KSWO Channel 7 in HD. Every Friday night, or, or be in the audience and be a part of history. ICW Live, every Saturday night at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F. Adults, 8 bucks. Kids, 10 and under, just 6 bucks. Doors open at 6, show starts at 7. Impact Television, Friday nights. ICW Live, every Saturday night. Feel the impact. Impact Inc. Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio, 1008 South 11 in Lawton. S stop thinking about it and get, get that, that ink. Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio. Now you can see the impact. Artist Mark Jose can give you that custom tattoo you want. Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio. That custom tattoo you need. Walk-ins are welcome. Or call 699-7530. Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio. Open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Closed Wednesdays. See the impact. Impact Inc. Tattoo Studio, 1008 South 11 in Lawton. Could you be IZW's next superstar? Impact Academy training is open year-round. Learn from IZW's best. Who knows, you could be the IZW World Heavyweight Champion. Like Jermaine Johnson, he trained at the Impact Academy. If you think you can handle it, call today. Impact Zone Wrestling presents its next huge event. Saturday, March 19th, it's IZW's 6th Annual March Mayhem. March Mayhem. Featuring the return of the Impact Chamber. It's Team Johnny Z versus Team Double D in the 10-man tag team elimination. Inside the steel cage. Plus, plus, your chance to win an Xbox 360 and much, much more. Doors open at 6 bell time at 7 p.m. IZW 6th Annual March Mayhem. Saturday, March 19th at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F in Lawton. At the Impact Arena here with the Impact Classic underway as we have champion versus champion here. Kenny Campbell, your Impact Division champion against the heavyweight champ Jermaine Johnson. And it's been a good match here so far, DA. These guys really know how to, to go at it. Great match showing the kind of things that made Kenny Campbell the five-time Impact Division champion. The kind of things that makes Jermaine Johnson guys up a heavyweight champion. Except for a little posing right there. So they're taking too much time and Right there at Boston. Look at that. Kenny Campbell blocking that suplex. You don't want to give wow. you don't want to give the vulture time to get any of his energy back because this guy uses it as a weapon in the ring. Kenny Campbell, that Falcon Arrow dropping Jermaine Johnson down. Got a lateral press. And there you go. Now you can know Kenny Campbell and, and Jermaine Johnson, both guys with championship belts in this Impact Classic. And folks, if you weren't here at the Impact Arena to see this show, and we put a great show on every Saturday night, well, here's a little bit of what you probably missed. Jermaine Johnson, a slap across the face of Kenny Campbell. Wow, but that one sends Jermaine Johnson to the mat. Jordan Jacobs getting involved with those crutches like we talked about earlier. Another shot off the ribs from those crutches behind Mark Wilson's back. And even though their doctor prescribed, but I don't think that's the use he intended for him. I bet that's a violation of some kind of a medical thing. Champion laying in those big hands. Oh. I don't think that's FDA approved. I think that's what I was trying to say. Big chop right there. Oh, wow. Kenny Campbell backing it up with one. Kenny Campbell will find out tomorrow night, along with the rest of us, everybody, if, if he's going to maintain 
that Impact Division Championship title. Oh, wow. Pitcher, perfect drop kick from your champion. One of the big controversies and one of the big fallouts of Violet Valentine is that title being upheld by co-commissioner Helton. Got a week to come up with something, Sebo. I really hope we got an answer tomorrow night. We'll find out tomorrow. I, you know, I, I, I tend to think that uh, Sam will do the right thing, as he always does, and we'll, we'll find out tomorrow. But what's the right thing, Steve-O? You yeah. saw both men's shoulders were down. What, what, in your opinion, is the right thing to do? That, that is a good question, and I'm glad that I'm not the co-commissioner anymore. Kenny Campbell with a shot from Jermaine Johnson. He came off that bottom rope. Both men down, and Kenny Campbell trying to get back to his feet, but he's having a hard time. You know, both of these men are down on the... Oh, look, we have Kenny Campbell getting Campbell back, back on his feet. This could be in here. No! You know, if he could hook the leg there, Steve-O, but both men extremely tired. And you could hear them chanting in the background. What they're doing is they're teasing Jordan Jacobs, and they're chanting, Jordan. The T-bone suplex with the bridge gets him a two count. It's a great maneuver by Kenny Campbell. The champion <laughs> showing a lot of heart fighting back. And the kind of thing we saw on that match six days ago, Steve-O, a 30-minute classic put on by Jermaine Johnson and Montego Sica, oh, yeah. the heavyweight title. And, of course, Jermaine maintaining that title. How long can he hold on to that heavyweight title? I saw both men after the show, and they were exhausted, but you could not pry that heavyweight championship out of Jermaine Johnson's hands. Let's talk a little bit more about March 19th. Of course, uh, March Mayhem coming up, folks, and gosh, already, of course, announced is the... Will we see it? No. Already announced here, folks, is uh, what, uh, the Impact Chamber. Of course, this will be the third annual one, and Team Johnny Z has won it for the past two years. Undefeated Team Johnny Z, Steve-O. Make sure you get that in or you will hear from your boss. Team Johnny Z undefeated in the Impact Chamber. And this year, it'll be Team Johnny Z against Team Double D. And look at this. Oh! Flying cross body. Kenny Campbell rolled off. That might have saved Jermaine Johnson. He's ready to end this match, I think. He's had enough. Jermaine Johnson with hands on the referee and... Well, it's Jordan Jacobs up on the, oh low below from Jermaine Johnson. Jordan Jacobs on the apron distracting Mark Wilson. And Johnson's looking for something. I don't know. And he's got crutches, but he's going for the heavyweight title. He's got his title belt there. A whole slew of weapons he could have choose from out there. And he picked the heavyweight title. But are those crutches are sitting right here. Here comes Montego Sica, Steve-O. I don't know. What is it? Oh, face breaker. Wow. And it's a roll up. A roll up. And Nobody there to count it. Mark there you go. Down. And there you go. Jordan Jacobs backfiring with that distraction from the referee. And it's the vulture Kenny Campbell with a win over Jermaine Johnson here, folks, in this Impact Classic. And we hope you've enjoyed it. We hope you've enjoyed uh, all of our Impact Classics here tonight. And we look forward to seeing you every Saturday night here at the Impact Arena, 1009 Southwest F, right here in Lawton, folks. And, and of course, we want you to keep checking out Impact Television every Friday night, right after Jimmy Kimmel Live here on KSWO ABC TV. Hey, on behalf of Big DA and myself, Steve-O, until next time, remember to feel the impact.